Oh my god, you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> Two of my friends from high school is gonna visit me today in the Bay Area. One of my friends is visiting from Boston and the other one is visiting from Omaha, Nebraska. And of course, I didn't forget you. And my friend fiance as well. It's all three of us, we, we all live in different area, different state. So we're like long distance friendship. So I can't wait to see them again. Usually, all three of us would meet back in Vietnam whenever we visit. But due to COVID, all three of us haven't met for two years now. So we decided just to make a trip to my state. Wow, I feel so grateful. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. And definitely, I'm gonna take you guys with me. So you don't have to see me blabbering on within this room by myself. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are sick of it already. We're gonna meet some new characters. And they're all amazing people. Really amazing people. I'll show you guys later. But first, quick effort check for the day. Since the weather is a little bit chilly outside, but I don't want to wear any jacket, so I'm wearing this long sleeve crop top. Pairing with a pair of black straight leg jeans. This will keep me warm and also pretty cute. I was very ambitious that I'm not gonna miss my weekly upload schedule before my friends came. That's why I'm trying to fit in some editing time right now. But you know, life never goes according to plan. So I definitely have the most fun with my friends as you will see a part of it later on in this vlog. Want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm V. I'm from Nebraska, and I, I really like parking here. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Who are you? I'm your friend from high school. I'm very bad at introducing myself. So next one. Alex. Next one. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm not Mia's friend. Oh no! I didn't vlog anything, but we got some pictures. We spent a good amount of time at the Palace of Fine Art, located in Marina District of San Francisco. This is a very popular spot that you must visit whenever you come to SF. Fun fact, this is the place you see on most US stamps. Mexican food nearby. And then we spent another hour to find parking spot. SF is great and fun, but the traffic and finding parking spot is a real struggle. It was even worse because we went during fleet week, everybody was out and about. It feel like we spent half the day trying to find parking slot and stuck in traffic. We finally arrived at this Mexican place called Silito Lindo. Apparently, according to Apple Map, it's one of the best Mexican restaurants in SF. The food finally arrived! I got a steak and birria taco. V got her steak and chorizo taco. Alex and Tracy share one quesadilla, which is basically taco crossover with quesadilla. I have to admit, the steak taco was really good. Other than that, it was decent. I didn't try anything else beside the taco, so I think it's not fair to judge. It's just so nice chatting with your best friend and sharing good food. 
I miss them so much looking at this footage right now. I will definitely come and visit you guys next time. People say if you don't have a picture with the Golden Gate Bridge, then you never been to SF. That's why I took my friend here to the famous Golden Gate Bridge. We didn't plan it specifically, but my friends visited during Fleet Week, so we got to see the air show as a bonus. It was basically the US Navy performing a fully choreographed act in the air. I'll show it to you in just a minute. They did a lot of cool stuff like looping in the air multiple times, or plunging down very close to the ground and then flying up. Oh, it looks so cool, but I didn't film most of them and I only got a few short clips. I already turned down the volume so much, but it was extremely loud when I was there. I basically had to cover my ear most of the time. This is what I'm talking about, stuck in, in traffic. It's not too fun, but at least we got stuck in this beautiful city, right? Joke aside, the scenery is actually quite pretty here. There's a lot of green around. You can see a lot of houses on the hill, very iconic of SF. And also we just right behind this beautiful Ferrari. Probably a tech founder driving the car. It's a joke by the way, if you cannot tell. I actually really enjoy walking around the city. There's always something going on and you will never know what you're gonna pump into. Oh, if you visited SF, you would probably see a bunch of Waymo car driving around on the street. It's funny that I keep seeing these kind of articles popping up recently. This one have a driver in it, so it doesn't look too spooky. I'm so glad they updated the car to a Jaguar. Because I remember seeing the first Waymo car and it looks ridiculous. I put something up on the screen so you will know what I'm talking about. To be honest with you, I'm not a big shopper, especially for clothes. So usually I just tag along with my friends and enjoy their company, just like what I'm doing right now. Isn't like Christmas? Yeah, they have these lights up all year. No, no. All year? Yeah. Oh yeah, pizza, my heart. Yeah. What? <laughs> I am so excited to tell you guys about this ramen place in Palo Alto. If you ever visit the Bay Area, you have to try out ramen nagi. It's just so good, trust me on this one. If you had it before, I'm curious what's your thought on it. A lot of my friends who traveled to Japan before would also agree that this is one of the best ramen place comparable to the one in Japan. And you know the price is really reasonable, especially for Bay Area standard. The only minor problem is there's always a line whenever it's open. Most of the time it's only take 20 to 30 minutes, so it's not too bad. Literally, I was telling my friend right before coming here how picky I am with ramen. None of the places that I've been to live up to the hype, but this place just knocked my sock off. The next day, we went to Apple Fritter Eatery and all four of us ended up ordering the same thing. Bok Bok Donut Burger, basically fried chicken on a glazed donut. And of course my friends didn't want to miss out on the Boba Guys hype, so we went there, but in my opinion, it tastes like watered out milk tea, so not a big fan. That afternoon we went kayaking and we did go quite far away from where we started. Then we spent some time to enjoy the sunset in the middle of the lagoon. It was quite nice and romantic. And then everything took a wrong turn. It started to get so cold and the wind was so strong that evening. We had to kayak against the current, not the easiest thing to do. And yes, we went back to ramen nagi because what's better than a hot bowl of ramen in the cold weather. After that we went for ice cream anyway even though it was still freezing outside.
the salmon and mango combination is better than I thought. However, their dinner menu looks way more interesting. Would definitely come back again.